Bismillah rahman rahim Ancient Egypt is one of the most interesting ancient cultures and civilizations out there. Whether it's the pyramids, the mummies, the writings, or their fixation with cats, many people enjoy reading and learning about them. Did you know, however, that the Holy Qur'an speaks about them too? Pharaoh, which is a word used to mean kings of ancient Egypt, is a very interesting topic mentioned in the holy book. The pharaoh that God speaks about in the Quran was a specific Egyptian king who lived at the time of Prophet Musa Though there has been no mention of any names, some of the actions of this specific pharaoh made him pretty distinguished. He would kill the sons and leave the women of Bani Israel alive and the reason to that was because he had heard from a fortune teller that a child will be raised from Bani Israel that will bring down his government. However, Allah makes it thus that the enemy he feared, i.e. Prophet Musa السلام, would be raised in the Pharaoh's very own palace, right under his nose. Talk about irony, right? A few things happen in between, and long story short, Allah commands Prophet Musa السلام, and his brother, Prophet Harun السلام, to go to the Fir'aun in order to preach him. The Pharaoh, of course, insists on denying the one true God, claiming to be God himself, as it was apparently the trend during ancient Egypt, for Pharaohs to claim such things. He also refuses Prophet Musa's request to free the children of Israel, and fast forward a whole while later, after a year of dialogues, miracles, plagues, and the murder of Pharaoh's wife, Asiya, one of the most revered women in the Quran, the Pharaoh eventually drowns after Nabi Musa السلام, parts the sea. Moral of the story, don't claim to be God, and also listen to what the prophets say.